Bob is your on call. I think we're ready to rock here. All right, everybody. You ready? You can hit it when you're ready. Feedback. We, we got feedback. <coughs> it's feedback. <laughs> Welcome to this special hiatus edition of Feedback. We got feedback. I'm your host, Pete Van Dyke. I'm coming to you backstage at the Dutch Hall with the, my good friend, Steve, the reluctant German. Hey, hey. And we have to do some unfinished business that we had with great listeners of our program for six years of Dutch Hall put out stuff. We asked you all to give us feedback. And uh, some of you guys actually did. And if we don't talk about it on air, I feel we did you a disservice. So, given the historic last program before the hiatus, first ever hiatus, we had some feedback from some of you guys that I didn't even read. So, I want to take this opportunity to do that. All right. The first is from longtime listener, multiple time listener of the week, Kevin Van Dungeon. Oh, yeah. You know Kevin, right? Sure do. He says, hey, boys, just wanted to get in one last feedback. Mike, congrats on the Wii one. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I did enjoy Angry Mike a few weeks ago. I missed the show, but the hiatus is well-deserved. Cock-a-doodle-doo to the rooster if he's there. Steve, keep being German. You're awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. The tickler, sweet, sweet drums will be missed, and I get why Wes is the favorite. I must mention Shazma and Mr. Gortva for making things great, as well as the cookie lady. Pete, I'm not sure what's next for the Dutch Hall, but version two will be two times better. Two times. Two times. Looking forward to hearing you fuckers soon, Kevin. Yeah, man. And then he says, maybe I can be part of it. I'm like, Kevin, Thursday nights, we're still doing shit. You can come by any week, buddy. And you, but that's always been a problem. So just talk, talk to us, man. We'll work something out. Oh, for sure. You got an idea? We'll try to work it in the show. Kevin, we always appreciate when you stop by. So thank you very much, Kevin Van Dungeon. Woo. You know what? I wish everyone could be listener of the week, but we're just going to say you're always a shareholder in our hearts. I'm just going to do it like that. I'm going to leave it like that, you know? All right, sure. No other songs for Kevin. You want to just make up a quick Kevin song on the spot right now? Sure. Three verses in uh, chorus. Hmm? Okay. Quick, uh, huh? Hmm? About, uh, Intro, how, outro? How great he is. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't worry about it. We'll do it next time. Oh, by the way, Kevin sent another message. Oh, two times. <clears throat> he says... Jesus Christ, don't forget Paul and his well-timed usage of the cunt word. <laughs> and last but not least, the first lady of your Dutch hall, your beautiful wife, Jane, Aww. sent for my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> that was also Kevin. So thank you, Kevin, again. You know who else uh, gave us a message there? Hmm, what kind of message, Pete? Uh, a piece of feedback. <laughs> you want to get into that? You want to get into how, uh, how like, that is, like, a... Uh, Something that I really wanted to have a stinger on the show, right? And then you guys tortured me with it uh, somehow. Like mm -hmm. it was like you gave it to me. It's like saying you're hungry, and then they just force feed you like a goose, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's kind of what that's become. But I, I have no ability to stop it at this point in time. It must go on. That's great. Well, we must get the next next piece of feedback. This one is from a long time listener, shareholder, multiple time listener of the week. Jen Husko. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Jen Husko. Great show, she says. Great final show of 2019. Where's the Last Supper picture? Question mark. And, uh, well, we sent it by now. This oh, was yeah. old, eh? And now we've sent it. Um, uh, great coat, by the way, Pete. Also, uh, shout out to the fur coat, which did look really <laughs> boss and pimpin'. And I've been seeing tons of fur coats around. Have you seen more on the streets? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. People don't care about animals anymore, I right? I guess not. There's other things to worry about. Yeah, so now you can start killing animals and wearing them again. Yeah, thanks, Trump. Sweet. <laughs> 2020. Wear a nice, you know, what would you? What would be your animal of choice to wear as a, as a coat? Hmm. I'm going to go with a nice rabbit. Rabbit? Sure. Yeah. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. You probably look good in a nice rabbit coat. I'd look fast. Yeah. Uh, I would go with an otter. Oh. You want to know why? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to go swimming with my coat on. Of course you do. Yeah. Of course you do. All right. And then she went on to say, thanks for the entertainment uh, for the last six years. It's been a great ride. I look forward to many more when you come back. Merry Christmas to all of you and a happy hiatus <laughs> oh. from Jen. It seems like a million years ago, Christmas. Thank you, Jen. 
God, I mean, thank you so much for all of your support over the years, Jen. You're one of our favorites. You know that. You're welcome to come anytime to the Dutch Hall. Absolutely. Open invitation, Jen. Now, um, before we get into that, maybe we should talk about There'll be some in- invitations going out to, to people who have supported uh, Live from the Dutch Hall and people who have supported Spiky Ball Studios. We'll be coming around to promote and give you an invitation to attend our uh, comedy show. Mm-hmm. It's an appreciation comedy show happening here at the Dutch Hall for invita- invited guests only. And it will be Marito Lopez headlining. Oh, yeah. Doug Coning hosting and uh, featuring the very talented Hannah Lawrence from Toronto, Ontario. Yeah, I can't wait. We'll be coming down. It's going to be a good night. And we're going to have a hell of a good time here. So uh, you should, uh, if you want to, give us an email at live from the Dutch Hall at gmail.com and we'll make sure to get an invitation your way. Absolutely. When's that show? That is January the 18th. It'll be uh, doors open at 7, show starting around 8 o'clock. Okay. It's dark by then, so it's about time to do a comedy show. And then uh, we party after the show. Sweet. Do people need uh, tickets? Yeah. Well, you need an invitation. Okay. For the ticket. Uh, do you have to pay for it? Yeah. It's 20 bucks at, 20 the, bucks door. at the door. And uh, same old Dutch Hall deal. So most of the people that are getting the invitations are people that have been one of these things before. If you haven't, you're in for a treat. We'll give you the rules when you get here. <laughs> it's so much fun. But yeah, it is going to be 20 bucks. Okay. Uh, if uh, Just to cover the cost of the comics and uh, the cost around the room. So... Um, <clears throat> hopefully everyone will uh, we'll, we'll be coming around the next week and get that happening one more piece of feedback maybe even two i can't i can't tell you two more but bruce Veltry, hey. also long time listener also blah, blah blah the same resume as these people they came up on the last show these are the some of the cream of the crop of course they're gonna rise of super fans it's friday morning how the hell do i start my day without the Dutch Hall. That's what he says. Just kidding. Thanks for the memories. Could care less is what he means. He's like, well, I can just, I just try. <laughs> no, he says, what am I supposed to do today? Was the title who I, f- I missed out on. He says, great show, and you're officially missed by me today, uh, Bruce Valtry. Bruce, God bless you for that. Yeah, that makes really, us feel really, really nice. nice. And it is, it, you know what? I wanted to tell one quick story. Sure. And as uh, I did a comedy show on the weekend in uh, uh, St. Catharines at Showtime. Yeah. We did, I did. Friday and Saturday there, and after the Friday show, a uh, fellow in the front row, he's in the front row the whole time, comes up to the comics and uh, says, I just want to thank you guys for doing such a good job. Uh, this is the first time I've gone out since my father died, and uh, oh, yeah. you're really helping me uh, get through this, and and uh, he came and, and like, like he knew my name, like he was like, hey, thank you, Pete, like that kind of thing. Wow. And I was like, do I know you? And he's, and he's like, no, no, I just watched the show or whatever, and you kind of think... All right. In order to go up on stage and be a comic, you think about it's pretty selfish, you know. Like you want spotlight to be on you or something like. Mm-hmm. Just the nature of the art form seems pretty selfish. And then when you realize that you're actually helping people out, then you're like, oh, then I'm not such a, yeah. you know, like selfish dick. Maybe I am. Uh, there is some good with my dick jokes happening <laughs> after all. That's right. Well, th- I mean, they say laughter is therapeutic, right? And here's proof that that's helping somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we said, they used to be the, the uh, tagline for this show was, uh, for Life from the Dutch Hall, was <coughs> trying to change the world uh, one dick joke at a time. That's right. Yeah, that, I think that's uh, that's an example of that. I like it when it really happens, but you know it, it mm-hmm. actually works. Joke about your penis, Steve. It's healing. There you go. For everyone. And, uh, and also, at the Saturday night show, mm-hmm. there was one guy in the front row. He His parents called his, his, his dinky. <laughs> which if you've ever seen my act i mean i have a joke about that and yeah. uh i've never met another one before you know so me and this guy just hit it off hit it off two dinkies oh, yeah <laughs> two dinkies well guys we are uh, getting together tonight to work on our new dutch hall program that's right we uh hope to give you some teasers on the uh social medias and stuff to keep you abreast of what we're working on and if you uh have any suggestions questions you have any ideas of people that might be you might like to see on our program, uh, send uh, us a message at live from the Dutch Hall at gmail.com or hit us up on all the socials. Yep. Uh, otherwise, uh, stay tuned for all the stuff we're working on. Tonight's uh, going to be fun. It's going to be something different, and I can't wait to see what it turns into for you guys. So, yeah. And uh, we're going on a sponsorship run, too, so if you th- it can, can know anybody wants to throw money at us, let us know. Thanks a lot, <laughs> and uh, we will see you, NT. See you next time. Later, guys.